Hi everyone, this video is for all the researchers out there. In this video, I shall be telling you about some of the websites which could prove beneficial for you in the research process. First of them is connectedpapers.com. So what you have to do is just put the name of the research article you want to see in this search box beside build a graph button. So when you put the name of the research paper, then it will display you a graph of the research papers associated with the paper you have put in the search box. So it builds this kind of a graph in which you can find the associated research papers. Then you can proceed on to view any of those research papers and also analyze the relation between multiple research papers related to the paper you have put in the search box. Here I am also providing you a small demonstration of this process on how to use this connectedpapers.com. In the center panel you can see the dots showing the research articles related to the paper you have put in the search box. On the left side there is a list of those research papers. So as you can see there are some dark colored dots which represent the papers which are having maximum association with the paper you have put in the search box. On the right side you can see the actual paper you have selected on the left panel light shaded dots in the center panel those are the papers which are having somewhat low correlation with the paper you have originally entered into the search box so this connected papers will help you find all the related research articles now moving on to the second website which is scholarcy.com so this is actually one kind of research paper summarizer so in case you want you don't want to go through the whole research paper you just want to view the summary of the paper or synopsis or what is the crux of that paper so for saving time you can use this website scholarcy.com Let us see how to use this. Click on Try Scholarcy now. Then there are some multiple options. So here you have to upload the article whichever you want to see. Here you can enter the URL or maybe upload the paper from your system. Then click on Generate Flashcard. So now here I am going to select the URL of this paper and then paste it in this box. Then click on generate flashcard. So after some time it will generate uh, some of the flashcards like key concept, abstract, summary.
now moving on to the third website which can be a lot helpful for the researchers which is site.ai s c i t e .ai so what this website does it finds the papers which supports or disputes the claim by other papers when you get to know how to use this website at its full potential this might be one of your favorite websites for carrying out the research just as you did previously you have to put in the name of the paper you want to search here you can see on the left panel supporting mentioning and contrasting so as it is evident from the names if you select just the supporting thing so you will find all the papers which are supporting the argument by the paper you have searched if you have just put on mentioning then the papers which have cited put in the reference of the paper you have searched those will be displayed on the right side of the screen and if you have selected this contrasting search option so all the papers which are contradicting the views of the paper you have searched they will be displayed on the right side so once you get to know how to use this it will be really beneficial for you many of you would be aware of the next tool a website that i am going to show you mendeley so this is a reference management software this can function as a library for all the pdfs you want to store in your system then you can make citations in your research articles using mendeley software so it will make life easy for you actually very easy except the fact that it won't write research articles for you at this point of time i would also like to tell you that i have already created two videos on the same youtube channel on how to use mendeley software so here you can find our channel's name and these two videos are there it is created part 1 by 2 and part 2 by 2 so you can watch this and learn how to use mendeley there shall be many more videos dropping on the same youtube channel regarding researchers and research process so please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel last venture comrade